Panda Winders, today we are here with Elysian and we are going to be doing a build off since it was requested. Take a look at this commenter. Yes, there are more requests with Elysian, but the thing is, I saw this one first, so I screenshotted it and I asked her. The theme of the build battle is a loft, so that's where we're going to be competing against. Don't forget to check out her channel and give her some love and support. I'm sure that her speed build will be on her channel. It's time to start building! I'm going to first start out by building the outlook of the house, which is also known as the exterior like I usually do. Also, before anyone says anything, yes, I know that Becky is in build mode, but she is not touching anything. As you see, I am placing everything. She's just watching me and just watching me. Yeah. Also, like usual, I play around with the exterior a lot to see how I want, how big it is and all that. And now I'm just realizing, isn't that the first time that I put a doorway on the side of the house? I'm actually pretty pat. I'm actually pretty proud of yeah, I can't speak. That's great. I'm actually pretty proud of how that turned out. There we go. Since in the comments lots of people are asking what are the lyrics saying and there's lots of arguments in the comments because I actually read them, I'm going to be adding in the lyrics while I build. Also, if you want me to do this for future builds with the lyrics or the words being used, let me know down below because that was a lot of work to add in all the, the words being used. I think I repeated myself again. Congratulations, Panda. You are now not successful once again. <laughs> This is where I'm going to be adding in stairs. I'm really amazed that I came up with this. Well, it's not my idea with the stairs, but I made it like a crooked L. Not a crooked. I made it like an L shape going up into the doorway. Also, I know that I can color faster by doing control click, but the thing is that this doesn't work for me and it takes a while longer, so please stand by. At this line, I'm outlining where the balcony will be for the build and also how you will come out of the house into the balcony. That's the outline for the garage and now I'm going to be playing around with the size of the house to see where everything can fit. Right now this is going to be where the kitchen is and I'm adding lots of windows because this is like an open kitchen with windows. I said that. Okay.
over here is like a counter space where you can eat your meals and all that stuff. I also turned these tables facing the other way for two chairs to go in at the same time. This idea of combining two cabinets together and making it look like both of the sides have drawers. I also thought this dark red color would look cool, then I added a pastel green and I eventually changed the red so don't worry if you do not like it. Then I'm adding in some decoration on these shelves to not make it look too plain. Then this is where the loft is going to be. And over here, I'm just adding in a small little living room. Then I'm adding in a fireplace which will come out of the wall a little bit not to take up so much room. And now I'll be adding a TV for entertainment on top of some shelves. These windows behind them will be an office space.
Now I'm going to be starting to work on the loft area and that's where the bedroom is going to be. If by any chance you are rebuilding this mirror, please do not build it unless you want it for your own decoration because I am about to delete it for a different look right here. Also, if you weren't able to tell, I was struggling trying to place these. I clicked it and Roblox wasn't letting me to. Might have been just a glitch. In the middle of the bed, I'm going to be putting these two tables to make it look like the bed has two covers on top of it. Then I'm going to be surrounding the bed with many tables to make it look like the bed is in the ground and make stairs going up into it. I surrounded the bed with these new lights that can go on the floor and color them all white to blend in. With this corner of the wall, I made four layers of shelves to not make it look plain. With this corner of the wall, I'm making four layers to not make it look plain and coloring it two different types of colors and decorating it. Yes, I do add plants because I love plants, okay? Also, lots of windows for light in this loft and I love daylight, so that's why. Of course, along with these fairy lights, I just added them diagonally going over this bed to give it a different type of chic look. I also 
also was just playing around and I figured out you could put lights in the middle of these shelves. So I'm like, oh yes, please. And what loft doesn't have some fans? Okay, yeah, there might be some lofts without fans, but I think of fans when I think of lofts, if that made any sense at all. Even though this bedroom or this upstairs loft is a little crowded, I'm adding in a small walk-in closet over here. And here we go with these carpets that I'm obsessed with again. Because I felt like the flooring was a little bit too box shape, I made it go inward one more, so I changed that around. wall less plain I added in a clock and also some lights randomly surrounding it. I also added in some stairs coming from the outside because it would just look weird if I just had a huge gap right next to the door. And now I'm going to be coloring the house using the colors that I have inside too.
Now I played around a little bit and created a driveway along with a pathway going into the entrance of the house. And since we need a bathroom, this is where it's going to be. For privacy purposes, I changed the location of where these windows were. Over here will be the doorway to the garage. And up here will be a desk area or an office space. Since I felt like the red looked a little bit out of place, I put everything red into like lime green, dark green, and I put the chairs into like a whitish color to stand out. Over here, the picnic carpets look amazing on this gray color and perfect for decoration. I totally recommend it. Then with these circular pillars, I felt like it gave its shape to the fireplace and an outline for everything else.
over here I create my own desk area because I also wanted it to be two sided desks. I also thought a window seat would look kind of cool, but then I remembered that I had a balcony, so I had to remove that window seat and put in some doorways. Then with the roof, I make it sticking out one block and continue it all around. With the roof being a little bit flat, I wanted this side to be slanted and I also decided to take out these sticking out pillars. I also felt like we needed a little bit more shape on the outside so I just played around with some fences and some walls and created what you're going to see what I create. Yeah, so just keep watching. By the way, I know I can do control click to color things faster, but for some reason it doesn't work for me, sadly, on my computer, which would save a lot of time if it did. Now I'm going to be adding in some light to give it light, of course. Then in the garage, I'm adding some minimal decoration for the price not to be that expensive. Yes, I know in the video I put in a car just in case someone wants a car, but also I'm going to be taking out the car for the tour since it adds on to 18k more dollars for the total budget. Over here I'm going to be adding in these chairs for the outside and for anyone to lay down and sunbathe or just watch the scenery. 
And now for the lock, I'm going to be adding in some final touches. I also placed some floor area around this whole place because I needed some light on top of here and you can't place lights on top of nothing. I will delete the floor right after I'm done with all of them. I added some gears and then a windmill right over here for more decoration, because why not? Since this space was a little bit empty, I just put a mirror and a table with lots of books. I also put a little table where you can put your drinks or newspaper if you're ever reading, who knows. Of course, you can't forget about these fairy lights. You don't have to add them because they also add on to your total cost, but I like how they look on the outside and it made it more loftish. Is that even a word? No, but I just made it a word. There we go. <laughs> So I was just looking for last minute details then I'm like wait a second didn't they add some wall waterfalls okay that's like a tongue twister but I had to add in these both ones I know it doesn't really go with a loft build but these waterfalls look amazing.
subscribe button to be part of the Panda Wanda Habitat and click that bell to be notified of when I post. Could you be the first to comment? Panda Girl is out. Thanks for watching. Bye!